rappers and like rap music got me into fashion. Everybody got me into fashion though. Like mod, the mod movement got me into fashion. Like Muhammad Ali got me into fashion. Like those old photos of like black kids sitting on like old cars. The American, you know, Nation of Islam movement got me into fashion. Like every, like American culture really got me into fashion. Cause everybody that I thought was cool usually looked cool too. You know on the I mean? building at 16, 16, felt like a hundred million. I'm smoking keys out. Oh hey, yeah. I didn't see you there. I'm gonna style somebody in the store. I'm gonna uh, try to bless somebody with a little bit of this sauce I've been blessed with myself. You know what I mean? We're gonna keep somebody free. We're gonna keep somebody, keep somebody popping today. You know what I mean? Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> they be doing. You work retail. You just gotta be like, what's going on, bro? You need some help with anything, man? You know? You looking for a jacket of some sort? My name is Joey, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well come go to Helly Hansen way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that big, you get that big classic logo right here, you feel me? He's talking about that symmetry. I lived with my mom and shit growing up. My parents like divorced, but I saw my dad all the time, so I didn't grow up like without my dad. And yeah, my had I have two older brothers, they were in my life, so I, I wanted to like be like them, wanted to dress like them. I like digested all these things that my family said. I had like a talkative family. I come from like a long line of speakers, you know what I'm saying? Singers and shit. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing with it. Red light, green light, go. You might as well get that long sleeve popping, bro. You know what I mean? You might have to hit them with the all white, with the all whites that day. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. You might as well go for a rock star, bro. Long sleeve, white tee. I like being Bozy, like for real. Oh, Bozy. That's fuck. That's how you coming. So then you might as well go to Maharishi sweatpants way. Like what you wear is like a second skin. It's like taking care of your face or something. Like when you walk into a room, you want people to feel a certain way based off how you present yourself. You know what I mean? You think you use a uh, fire die? But if you hit them with the rucksack though. Come on, you hit them with the rucksack. Fill that bad boy full of books and rations for the week, boy. You might as well try to be me on too, big fella. <laughs> I seen you touch it. You know you wanted to match that yellow with that yellow on that bag, yeah, though. I'm very late. Hey, hey, hey. Go hey. ahead, break it down real low. Go ahead, break it down real low. Stop playing with it, red light, green light. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Not even to wear fashion, but like clothes is the first thing that introduced me to like fresh shit, just in general, like fresh being like a loose term, like something that's just cold, you know what I'm saying, that you can hear or see or feel and just like vibe with it. It's just a certain attitude, like if I'm coming at a song a certain way, you know, you could describe how I'm vibing as like a certain article of clothing or like an outfit. You know, like if I pull up in the studio and I record like an R&B song, you could say like I just came in this bitch with the button up undone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could describe yeah. sounds. Yeah, you could describe sounds visually. So I, I definitely feel that. Like they say there's like hoodie music. My man. Yeah, it came yeah. out of that kit, boy. Came out of that kit. You she might as well shoes. cop the whole kit, bro. Should've got like shoes too. Yeah, I told you, you got to put them all whites on, bro. Feel way more than 500 racks in that bag. That's a fact. Millions of dollars, big fella. That's how you gotta come at this shit, though. Like, you got a million dollars in the bag, you feel me? Exactly. Definitely, you look like you a Billy Club the shit out of somebody right now, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> I mean, anything looks good on me. <laughs> your mom the thrifter managed? Yeah, managed thrift store. Yeah, so thrifting was like a big part of, uh, big part of my upbringing, just like, you know, finding clothes from her store, just knowing the value of thrift stores from her store, and going to other stores in high school, and just like trying to find ill. Oh, the Visu denims and stuff like that. Like, just like shit that I couldn't find in a regular store, you feel me? That's where you really gonna find the, you know what I'm saying? That's where you gonna really find the pieces that you can't find somewhere else. Like, the pieces that you feel like you, uh, you know, you were meant to have. <laughs>